am Lesson Kure and welcome to BKSS. On this episode of BKSS, I'll be telling you how to stay productive during the self-isolation period and during the COVID-19 pandemic that has made us limit our movements all over the world. So yes, keep watching and I'll definitely give you realistic, it's important to note, realistic pointers to be more productive during this time. So let's be realistic guys. It's crazy difficult staying inspired, staying motivated, staying driven, staying optimistic during this pandemic. The death toll is dampening. Although there are lots of cases, thousands of people have recovered from COVID-19, but it's still dampening overall to see once you put faces to this statistics, once you put faces to these people that are constantly being reported sick or you watch those videos where people are struggling in the hospital, it's really difficult to um, up your spirits and get stuff done. Number one is to get a plan that's realistic and suitable for your area at that point in time. You can't use Mr. A's plan, you can't use Mr. B's plan. It has to be something you can work with from your own space. What do you want to achieve? Very simple plan. Most times we have elaborate plans and that's where our problem starts from. Start small. Don't start from like, oh, I'm going to do 200 push-ups today, 100, 1,000 skips, blah, 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 blah. Start small and then like commend yourself for your progress. Like, oh, bless him, you did well today, you skipped 200. You did well today, you you ate healthy or you took, um, you bought your immunity boosting tea. You don't break your routine. If you wake up six o'clock and you bath by seven and you work out a little, then you break first at eight. I would suggest you keep doing just that. Get a journal, get a diary, something like this, and write out your plan. If you want to watch a movie by 10 or 12, write it down. I'm going to watch a movie from 12 to 4. I'm going to watch a movie from this to this. So when you do that, you strike it off. It gives you a sense of accomplishment striking something off the list. I can't be the only person that feels really elated if I strike out something like, ooh, I did this. And that can also help you be pumped up about the next day as well. Um, this routine can also include speaking with somebody. If you leave alone this, I highly recommend you keep in touch with family or friends or trusted people around you and not by visiting them physically. I mean like phone calls, video chatting, um, social media texting, just to take away this feeling of isolation, loneliness and overall to reduce your panic because you get to discuss with them. So number two is reduce your social media intake. That definitely is counterproductive in as much as keeps you abreast of what's happening. Reduce your social media intake and you can do this by their apps called like off time. Say for instance, off time if you're working, this app has been very helpful. If you set social media apps or apps generally that you wouldn't want to receive notifications from for a period of time and it stops those notifications you get to work. So you set for 30 minutes, you'd be amazed what you can do in 30 minutes. Believe me. Pardon yourself. When you're unable to get stuff done, except if it's crazy deadlines at work, do pardon yourself because it's already difficult to stay optimistic. You don't want beating yourself up to be added to that list because that can hinder your productivity. So pardon yourself when you're unable to meet up with things you have set for yourself to do. Learn something new. Everywhere on Twitter is learn a new skill. Make Take advantage of this time. Learn a new skill. Okay. It's sounding conspicuous. I'm just going to simplify this. You know that thing you're really interested in, like making it through a pillow? Start small. Again, I'm insisting on start small because starting small gives you room to see your progress. Start small. Making it through a pillow, how to twist your hair or how to do DIY nails or whatever. Go on YouTube and watch videos. If you feel like, oh, I have zero experience in this particular aspect, you can start type. I know you wouldn't want to do this, but um dummy's guide to a dummy's guide to da 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 a dummy's guide to programming a dummy's guide to audio production and um, beginner's guide to da, da, beginner's guide to you would see basic stuff broken down in the most comprehensive way possible and you can grow from there you'll be inspired enough and who knows you just might be well equipped to convert one of these things you've learned passively during this time into a full-time side hustle this is also a good time to consider a side hustle yes a lot of people with um the usual nine to five going outside jobs have not been able to integrate it back inside, especially um, in countries like Nigeria, where most of the work isn't online yet. So I would say find alternatives, find freelance platforms. For instance, I'm a voiceover artist. 
Um, so I have a home studio. This is my home studio space. I'll give you a tour of the space soon, but I have a home studio where I record and I don't have to go outside. I did have to create a short notice because of the fact that um, the quarantine was coming and COVID-19 and I didn't want to keep going outside and it was convenient for like larger projects to voice from home. So and I am not Hausa, I am Gong, but I speak Hausa fluently. Um, I speak Nigerian Pidgin English and I speak English as well. I run a business also from home, but I've, that has been grounded because deliveries cannot go out. Transport companies are shutting down and of course for the safety of people, you have to shut that down as well. You can check that out in the description, of course, that's key notches. Um, so yes, turn your side hustle, get a side hustle. You just might be surprised that transcription may be your thing, coding may be your thing, uh, tutoring may be your thing. Like, just check it out, just honestly believe me, look into it. Well, during this time as well, you can also consider soul searching. It's not prayer particularly to God. Yes, it's good to include prayers, of course, that will help calm you as well. If you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, whatever religion you are, you belong to, do you include praying to the God you believe in? But you can soul search as well. I have I incorporated soul searching into my daily or let's say weekly or to do like my basic existence a while back and it has been very helpful to me. Um say for instance when I'm crossed at something, if I'm angry with you as a person, I start to think, why am I angry about the situation? Why am I angry about and sometimes it just might give you an open door to like underlying issues that you never thought you had. I'm not perfect, but I'm saying I learned to own up to responsibility. Sometimes the anger you feel towards a person for a particular instance or particular situation, it's sometimes about you and how you have a pending unresolved baggage from something else that this is just maybe reminding you of subconsciously or bringing out. So soul search a bit, gives you clarity, gives you purpose, and it gives you peace of mind. You need all the peace you can get at this time, people. You need all the peace you can get. So this is not your time to start throwing beef tags all around, talking about haters and all that. No, rest. An important thing that you should not neglect is being abreast of the news. And this doesn't mean overly consuming information um, that will end up making you feel anxious or panicky or feel just locked up in a space or feel um, the pandemic is going to wipe the world or anything. This is just to keep your abreast of situation. And this is why I stick to news agencies and as opposed to ingesting all the, uh, what do they call them? Conspiracy theories on social media. Everybody's a conspiracy theorist at this point. And just ingesting all that may be unhealthy and just wait for the medical personnel to do their stop social distance as much as you can and if you feel sick call the appropriate numbers that have been designated to make sure you are treated properly i hope you found this helpful so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel drop your comments in the comment section i'll be sure to answer you